Yo, what's up guys? This is Britt at Nitro Auto Lab. Welcome back. Today we have Brad's 2018 Audi S5. And this is the, what package is it? Prestige package. The Prestige package. So what does that include? So Prestige uh, includes the heads up display, the massaging front seats. So oh. there's three different oh styles of massage that you can get as well as three levels of intensity for each type of massage jesus um, i didn't know about that it does have rgb lighting so you can actually change from a ton of different colors i don't even know how many but um throughout the cabin got the red interior that steering wheel is factory yeah that's just the cover. oh it's that's got the cover okay yeah. it does have a red stitch still yeah, on the steering wheel i though. actually get the full carbon steering wheel wow and look at the seats. Wow, and the rears too. Yes, yeah, factory quilted Napa leather. Okay, and you said that we just we just put a lowering, an EMD lowering kit on this, but it does have the active suspension? Correct, it has the active magnetic suspension, so it will adjust whether you're in comfort mode or dynamic mode, the stiffness and the, the characteristics of how the shock performs. And so the reason why we went with these EMD springs is because it's, it's actually specifically designed to work with that factory magnetic suspension. Because if you put a, a progressive uh, spring on there, the active suspension gets really, really bouncy. So they are a linear spring and the spring rate doesn't go up a whole lot from factory. So it, wow. it, it's a lot of, uh, more so for looks as well as um, really trying to maximize the potential of the factory suspension. Wow. And we had this thing up on the lift, guys, and it actually has like exhaust. Um, it has different modes from what I take it, and it actually has like actuators on this side. One on each side. It's got a valve on this side and a valve on that side. So in the regular, like everyday economy driving, it's just running out this port here. And then uh, you have different modes that opens up this port as well as this whole side of the exhaust chamber. Correct. Wow. Got LED lighting, LED reverse lights. I noticed that it had like a, the third brake light was this entire weird. Yeah, you know, I didn't even know that until after. That looked good. Yeah, and I was like, hey, that's kind of a neat Looked like, like the Millennium like Falcon or something. Yeah, back, you know? it looked good. Wow. Um, yeah, the other thing that the... Um, the prestige package gets you is the bird's eye view camera so it's got cameras not only in the rear like most cars do these days but it has them in each mirror as well as the front bump up the front grill area and so you can literally see 360 around the vehicle when either you're pulling up to a curb going forward or reversing or parallel parking wow yeah wow next got looks like a functional air dams right there in the front bumper beautiful factory big brakes two-door coupe s5 pretty large panoramic roof there wow the interior is like my favorite yeah so this does have the audi carbon atlas inlays look at that Audi logos on the door lights there. Wow. Door sills light up. This thing is pretty loaded, guys. Wow. And one thing I noticed too is like it has, you'd think this handle opens up this way, but it actually tilts up like an old school door handle. But that's pretty cool. So what's it got for under the hood here? It's uh, got a three liter V6 uh, single turbo. Single turbo. V6. Let's check this thing out. Nice thing about this is um, whether you're doing a downpipe, an intake, or a turbo replacement or upgrade, it's actually all right here. So the turbocharger actually sits right here. So as soon as you take this cover off, turbo is right there. Easy to get downpipe, to. Downpipe, you can see there's the cat, right? So the downpipe oh, wow. goes right here. So this area gets like severely hot. So they do make an aftermarket turbo blanket for the hot side of the turbo. Right. So we are gonna get that uh, just to try to keep temperatures low in here, as well as a turbo inlet pipe and intake. So that'll be coming down the road as well. Wow. Another thing I noticed too, 
um, being a body and paint guy is not only do the a lot of newer cars use like a composite core support that just bolts in instead of a steel welded core support i also noticed when we were removing the front suspension that it's actually panel bonded because um, you can see that this remains steel right here but this is actually composite right here it's smc sheet molded compound so it's actually like a fiberglass um, packed material that's kind of compressed together and it looks like it's just basically seam sealed and panel bonded on there so that's pretty state of the art right there so that makes it even lighter than it would be if it were steel and uh Definitely. i'm assuming just as strong if not maybe stronger and uh maybe even safer in a collision so that's pretty cool wow so what modes are on here as far as different modes you can change so there's comfort there's auto where the the car will figure out the road conditions based on a, a ton of different sensors that are in the vehicle or there's dynamic and dynamic being of course the most uh, right. performance oriented and then there's also an individual so individual you can choose bits and pieces from each mode to kind of custom tailor the car to how you right want. right so if you you know want the exhaust and whatnot to be quiet but you want the suspension to be firm you can just firm up the suspension or firm up the steering and have the other things be more reserved in the comfort mode wow i'm impressed guys the body lines on this car the hood the edge of the hood is the body line and that alone to me was pretty impressive um we just lowered it he did get some spacers but um they were kind of left over from his previous vehicle and he was kind of hoping the rears fit but the rears happen to be different so he's not going to stick spacers on until he gets the new replacements for the rear but that will kind of change the look for sure while we had the wheels off he installed the oem um, mud flaps and uh, those look good and fit good so yeah what's it got for trunk space oh pretty good <laughs> there might be some stuff in there maybe huh oh a few parts I think you could fit a couple bodies in there. Yeah, it's quite, tight fit. Quite a good size. You know, the uh, the sport back, the four door, um, it, it does have that whole sport back rear. So oh, right, I right. Think kind of like that a hatchback. One might offer a slightly larger trunk space. I'm not sure. But um, obviously, the coupe look is, is, is pretty cool. So that's. Oh, yeah. No, the two door coupe is the way to go. So this car is actually going to be coming back probably in a few days. Um, and we're gonna do another video on installing um, the aftermarket grill. So we actually have a whole grill that kind of pretty much blacks, uh, blacks out this whole area um, in a honeycomb configuration like this. And when we do that, um, we are gonna do it today, but there's a lot to it. We gotta put these uh, parking sensors as well as this camera and integrate that into the new grill. So it'll probably take some time as well as trying to make sure we protect the paint on this thing when we're taking it apart. Also, we might keep it for an extra day just so we can actually color match these to the honeycomb grill gloss black. So right now they're kind of like a matte color. And uh, so we might paint all this and this down here gloss black as well. So should really give it a good aggressive look and uh, really set the car off. Well, I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful car, guys. Sounds good. Looks good. Um, it definitely screams and feels like performance. Um, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.